final mission to save mankind has failed. The 70-mile-wide asteroid known as Matilda is set to collide with Earth in exactly three weeks' time, and we'll be bringing you our countdown to the end of days, along with all your classic rock favorites. It's the end of the world as we know it, and Steve Carell and Kira Knightley are feeling wistful, winsome, bordering on the maudlin. As an asteroid hurtles towards Earth, these two kooky souls light out on a road trip, a voyage around themselves. And the planet ends, not with a bang, but a rom-com. Given the couldn't you find it in your heart to give my friend here a fighting chance of being with the one he loves before we all reach our untimely conclusion? No. Catherine, this is kind of Lars von Trier's melancholia without the angst, isn't it? It is, which is no bad thing, according to me, but apparently nobody else ever. Um, I really quite liked it. I had quite a good time, found it quite moving. I think it's interesting in comparison to Magic Mike because you'd think ladies would have sort of lapped up Magic Mike. What you've sort of seen is, is sort of uh, straight and gay guys alike going for Soderberg a bit more than the ladies, I've found. With this one, it seems to me it's entirely a, a ladies' film because um, Steve Carell's so dreamy and he looks at you lovely. And Kira, you see, I thought Kira was really quite good in this because I know <laughs> I can feel it coming. Okay. <laughs> but I think the fact is she's this. She's plays quite a sort of slightly irritating, um, in love with her own kookiness kind of sorry girl. And Kira is that, you know, she's not, it's affected, but in fact it's not affected because she's sort of like that. I thought they worked really quite well together. I thought there were lots of funny lines and I'm going to get killed. I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say one thing. I think the scene, arguably the scene where they go to frenzies, the fr frenzies and they're the kind of freaking out kind of waiters and waitresses. That was the one moment I thought it was genuine, when it was funny or at least straight what they call this is the chain restaurant the where chain everybody restaurant has to be where your best everybody pal. has to be your best pal <laughs> and their best palness is assuming a kind of delirious quality because they know the world's coming to an end and it is quite funny in a way uh, but i have to say i find kira knightley's kookiness uh, that that is supposed to be adorable and kooky and i just find it i would rather have my teeth filed down without anesthetic really to have to watch that again and as for steve carell who is great when he's got a funny script when yeah. he's in something funny that's supposed to be funny like be the office on TV or the 40 year old virgin, he's fine. But when he's doing something straight, when he's having to be Mr. Vulnerable, he just looks like a serial killer to yeah, me. He just I looks worry creepy. About that. I just was sort of scared of him. I thought he cooked up the whole end of the world thing just to, you know, yeah. have sex with her and then try and strangle her. There's something so <laughs> annoying. The end of it. There's something so <laughs> annoying about this. I just got, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. It was like having a pebble in your shoe almost. Hi, welcome to Francie's, where everyone's your friend. Hi. <laughs> Two for dinner? Yeah. Look at this little guy. Is this okay? Oh, yeah, everyone's welcome, yeah. Two brought in a wolf last week. It's crazy. Come on in. 